Hi, Chad with Concrete Floor Supply here, and I want to talk to you about a question that we had from one of our customers, and the situation on this one, it's a house slab on grade, and they want to do something with their concrete floors. So that's the background of it. What do I do with my concrete floor in my home? It's a brand new home. So they like the dark walnut stain, it says, and the main question is, is what is the difference between the treatments and what is the cost difference? Um, and then they also ask what skills, um, you know, do they do they need because they want to self perform this it sounds like and they appreciate the info. So um, initially this individual is looking at some um, epoxy treatments and then they started seeing stained concrete and um, they had a couple questions. So we're going to address all three things actually and one of them that, that didn't get thrown out at them. So um, First off, you've got solid color epoxy, which we're going to talk about, then stained concrete, and then polished concrete. So with um, solid color epoxy, um, what is it? Um, it's a floor coating um, where you use two component products and you coat the floor, and it's a chemical resistant solid color floor coating um, system. So that's how you do that. Um, why would you do it? Well, you want a solid color. It could be to hide a bunch of imperfections. Um, you get, again, good chemical resistance. And then you can add texture to it, whether it be, um, you know, sand that you roll into the, the coating or a flake type system. Um, level of difficulty. Um, this is probably our most difficult system because it's two component. You have to uh, pour the product on the floor. You squeegee it and you actually walk through it in spike shoes and you back roll it. Um, and something like this is going to run you about a buck fifty to two bucks a square foot. And I'm going to show you real quick what these look like here. Um, hold on. So your solid color um, epoxy is going to look um, like this. Here's the kitchen floor. It's solid color. And another solid color. And you can't really tell, but if you look in the light, this has a light aggregate in it for grip. So those are the things that you could do. Um, you know with the epoxy system like that now um, it's gonna run a buck fifty to two bucks a square foot now stained concrete is a very popular choice for an in-home thing it's a real elegant type look um, and it creates various color effects and then you seal it so this is where you prep the concrete you apply a stain and then you put a clear coat over it and remember all of these things that we have here we have system kits for each one and system instructions so you can follow along here now why would you do stained concrete again it has a beautiful look really easy to clean very popular floor if you go around looking at a lot of retail type places a lot of them have done stained concrete very easy type system to do we have a great pad prep um, tool that, that preps it um, and and your cost is going to be about half of what of an epoxy would under a dollar a square foot so now let's look at a couple of these so these are going to be you know this model type look that you get and that's more of a satin type finish and a glossy type finish and they have modeling and variation in them so um, the last system, which is probably my favorite um, that we really push to a lot of um, a lot of these customers that have a residential home or even the retailers is polished concrete. Now, what that is, is where you refine the surface using diamond tools and basically you're shaving the surface and tightening it with diamond tools and mechanically polishing it. Now, color can be added to this. Um, and again, you use it with diamond tools and we've got a pad system that you can put on uh, low speed buffers that you could rent anywhere. Um, auto scrubbers or even propane burnishers and they're really easy to use pads. So why would you do this? You're refining the floor itself. Um, and, and you're, you're using the natural floor, um, and the durability and breathability of it. So a lot of retailers are going to this system because of the durability and the, and the cleanability of it. And for a basement in the situation of our customer here or a slab on grade home, it has a lot of breathability of moisture drive would go you know, right through it and be able to breathe. And by the way, it's the easiest system because you're just running these pads and doing some steps and it shines your floor. And cost wise, it's um, less costly than a lot of them. And uh, let's look at a few pictures of that. 
So this would be our level two system, um, which is a full pad system. This particular floor had a black die um, done. This was a homeowner, never done it before, first one. Um, another, this isn't a commercial job. You can see it's polished here, unpolished right here. You can see the difference. You see the light reflectivity. Same job, um, a different job. This is another you know, retail situation. They do it a lot for durability. Another um, office uh, situation, a co uh, polished concrete floor, uh, garage warehousing type facility. Um, another office, this is, you know, with a die added to it. And this is, a, you know, a basement with die added to it and polished. And again, a breathable floor. And um, you still get some modeling because the variation in the concrete itself, but a good, easy to um, install, um, great floor system. Now these kits, um, these are our polished concrete kits. And um, again, we have instruction and everything. You just go to our You Polish It Systems page and um, learn more about these systems. And if you go through here and see, we have, you know, step one and we have instructions over here, product sheets, um, ways of how to do it, some example type pictures and what have you. So I, I hope that helped. Um, again, this is our um, You Polish It system. And to answer the question that we initially had, that, that's what I would recommend um, for a slab on grade home or even a basement is... Um, the polished concrete system um, for, for everything involved, including cost. So I hope this helped.